Hello everyone, it's me Liz. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share five podcast recommendations that I have for you guys. If you follow me on Instagram at elizvchu, then you know that I'm a little bit obsessed with listening to podcasts. I also have a podcast playlist on my Spotify, so if you want to check that out, it's all linked down below. I basically share weekly, almost daily podcasts with you guys. These are episodes that I personally really enjoy. So I thought, why not just share them with you guys? Knowledge should be shared. Bit of a podcast enthusiast, so if you have your recommendations, please comment down below and let me know what you guys listen to. And before we get started, please go ahead and like and subscribe. <laughs> I'm filming this very late at night. I don't know where I am right now, to be quite honest. Also, look at my shirt. I kind of match the background. I wonder if I key this if I will basically turn to a green screen myself. Did it work? I love listening to podcasts because I see it as a way for me to open up my circle and be around those who are really admirable and inspiring. All right, without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Okay, first up, it is the one and only Oprah Winfrey's podcast, Super Soul Conversations. The Super Soul Podcast is one of the best podcasts for personal and spiritual growth. I started listening to Super Soul Conversations back in sophomore year of college. I would be at the gym pumping away while listening to Oprah's very motherly and calming voice. It was a delight. I really enjoyed it. Her podcast features interviews with all different types of people from all ages to races to backgrounds journeys religions education just everything you can think of she has it she talks to some of the world's most notable spiritual leaders and together they aim to help us listeners live a more meaningful life and to connect with the deeper world around us i found her podcast during a time where i was starting to really understand who i was as a person and it was really comforting listening in on what she had to say i remember this very particular episode with her and joelle osteen whom by the way i really admire i grew up with his name quite present in my childhood they were talking about the notion of i am and the things that we say become who we are because we identify with it so if you're saying these negative and mean things to yourself then you become those things so instead of engaging with those negative thoughts and those negative i am practices we should use the power that we have to say great things to say positive things to say nice things about ourselves so when you say the things you are they come into existence and since we are granted with this power why not use it towards something that is positive and kind. That episode definitely really stuck out to me but there was this another episode that really changed the way that I viewed my world and I would say it was life-changing. So this episode is called Whispers. So she basically talks about life's whispers. Life speaks to us in whispers at first then the voice gets louder and louder and louder until it is screaming at us to wake up and to listen. The more that we brush off these whispers, the louder the voice gets. And this is life's way of telling us what's to come. It is basically preparing us to be ready for what life has to offer. These whispers can come in forms of a gut feeling or an intuition or a person that comes into your life or an event that happens to you. It can happen in any sort of way and it's up to us to be aware of our surroundings, be intentional and to always be listening to these whispers. Yeah, she definitely goes in more details about these whispers and she has guests that share their whispers and how these whispers eventually turns into screams. I highly, highly, highly recommend that episode just because it completely changed like the overall perspective of life for me. So yeah, it was a really dramatic change. Overall, if you'd like things like this about spirituality, about personal growth and development, all those things, then Super Soul Conversation, it is definitely for you. So many wonderful episodes that I want to just tell you right now but since there are so many, I save them all into my podcast playlist. So just go check them out. All right, on to the next. I've been listening to this podcast since college as well. And it is the Life Coach School podcast by Brooke Castillo. She is the founder of the Life Coach School, where she trains life coaches and help clients from all over the place on any type of subject. She is 
quite awesome. She is like that really cool, encouraging, and empowering aunt who is not afraid to share her feelings and who is so willing to help us recognize and confront our struggles. I love how real and genuine she is. Her episodes serve like little reminders for me, especially when I need a little push, a little bit of support, a little bit of that love. Um, she's like my go-to woman. Everything she says is always so encouraging and so like raw. She's not afraid to be vulnerable with her audience and I just really admire that. One of the episodes that really resonated with me was this episode about the capacity to have and how we struggle with that. In the episode, she talks about how when we have things that we want in life, we tend to not have the capacity to accept those things. We tend to push it away. Like if you have the money, you spend it. If you have a healthy relationship, you try to sabotage it. Or when you're happy, when you're successful, when you're doing well, you try to self-sabotage because things are just too good to be true. I think it's just innate in us human beings to cause a little drama in our life because you know, why the heck not? Um, I don't want that though, that's not fun. She talks about how we can have the capacity to have and how we can hold on to those things and not self-sabotage. Her episodes are all very encouraging and supportive. If you need a little support, a little bit of that love, just pop on an episode and you're gonna feel like a million bucks by the end of the episode and she also talks about how to make money like a million dollars so if you're interested in how to make money if you love business she is definitely the businesswoman you want to listen in on she, she's um she definitely knows what she's talking about so give her a try <laughs> we'll be right back after this short break Baby, the camera's right there. Baby, you gotta perform, okay? This is your acting gig. Listen, humans. Oh my god, baby, your pee pee's off. Listen, humans, I have something I want to share with you. Today, we are going to talk about Bilt Bars. Bilt Bars have no preservatives, all natural flavoring, and gluten-free. This one is the double chocolate Bilt Bar flavor. It is so yummy. It has 17 grams of protein, and it is only 130 calories. <laughs> Do you want some, baby? You can have it, you're a doggy. They are very, very low in sugar, only four grams. It's the Bilt Bar, and it's a mochi. Oh my god, baby, oh, he almost ate it. Look, baby. Yes, yeah, he's so cute. Look at that. Oh, hi. Bilt Bar is seriously amazing. They really don't have any preservatives, and all natural flavoring, like, are you kidding me? Because this flavor is spot on, it's really, really nice dark chocolate. Where can you find this mochi? You can go to their website, right? We're gonna link it down below. Okay, mochi's gonna link everything down below so you guys can go ahead and check them out after this video. He has never had it before, just wanna put that out there, but he advocates for Bilt Bars. And why is that? Why do you like Bilt Bars? Because Bilt Bars are amazing? I know, right? <laughs> Make sure to use Lizzie's code for a discount off. Go get your Bilt Bars now. You're gonna leave Bilt Bars in my stocking? Are you really? Oh, thank you. I'm so excited. Which flavor? Oh, you don't tell me? Okay. Well, guys, if you want to do exactly what Mochi's doing and leave a boat bar in someone's stocking, then go ahead, please. Check out boat bars now, because why not? Now that you have heard enough of this amazing product, let's go back to the video. Bye-bye. Okay, ladies and germs, next up is the Tim Ferriss Show. I'm sure some of you guys already know this name by now, but if you don't, you might have heard of or even read the book, Four Hour Work Week. I began listening to the Tim Ferriss Show just this year, and I wish I started sooner. I have to admit though, I was a little intimidated by the big names and the big topics, but I quickly got over that hump and overcame that fear of not understanding. I am obsessed with this podcast, to say the least. He has some of the most interesting and life-changing conversations with his guests. He deconstructs world-class performers and dives deep into the lens of their worldview to give us listeners cool tips and tricks that we can use. I love how relaxed I feel when I listen to these conversations. They're just so eye-opening and engrossing. I cannot pull away from these conversations. They are so intriguing. I've listened to a good number of episodes of The Tim Ferriss Show, but one that stuck to me the most and completely changed my 
my entrepreneurial mindset was this episode with Jacqueline Novogratz. She is the founder of Acumen, which is a nonprofit organization that helps those who are struggling in deep poverty. I think her environment really shaped her into this person who knew how to look at the world in a very different and unconventional way. After graduation, she went into banking where she got the chance to consult and advise financial entities from all around the world. So she traveled a bunch, she has some crazy stories. But yeah, from that experience, she was able to find this flaw in the way that society approached poverty. And to fight this issue, she discovered ways to use banking to help those who are struggling in deep poverty. I was just completely amazed by how intro and retrospective she is and how her understanding of the world is just so expansive. I want to be like that one day. It really just amazes me to the core and I'm just wowed by her, her mind. It was really reassuring listening to her story and it gave me a sense of fearlessness to pursue my dreams and aspirations and I just saw this episode as an acknowledgement of like hey you can do it it's possible but yeah if you enjoy topics about the world and about technology business entrepreneurship leadership and all those good things well this is the podcast for you okay we got two more left and this one is all the hacks by chris hutchins i actually discovered all the hacks through the tim ferris show where chris got to interview tim ferris about podcasting if you are someone who is just a sucker for great crispy audio and lovely pronunciation and eloquent language then chris hutchins man his voice is so crispy so clean and it's just ASMR to my ears. Anywho, besides that, he has so many great episodes about hacks, about optimizations. Chris himself is a man of optimization and hacks, um, but the podcast is not just about those things. They talk about anything and everything. They talk about things like how to land your dream job or what is FOMO and FOBO, you know, your mind, body, and soul, and health hacks, and NFTs, and cryptos, and business, relationship. Again, it's very diverse. I personally really, really enjoy this one episode with Logan Yuri. She is the author of How to Not Die Alone. I know that title is kind of like, wow. Well, that's really bold. Basically, there are three relationship tendencies. There is the romanticizer, the maximizer, and the hesitator. So I won't go into many details about these tendencies. Ali Abdal did a really great video explaining it. So if you are curious, then go check his video out after you finish watching this one. He does a great job just giving you a book review of that book. Not to anyone's surprise, I'm pretty sure I am a um, maximizer. So maximizers are people who are always looking for the next best thing. I always want to find that person who is most suitable for me, who is meeting my standards and all of those things. This episode definitely was a big wake up call and made me realize that, oh, hey, you know, I need to decipher the difference between maximizing and having high standards. Like there's a difference between the two and I need to find that perfect balance. But also this episode kind of just like pinged my brain and made me realize that if I want to be in a healthy and long-lasting relationship, then I need to practice because being in a relationship and being good at it is a skill. I think a lot of times our daily life or our love life is overlooked. We don't think that it's a skill. We just think like, oh, we do it because like we just gotta go try not to die alone. But dating is a skill and there's a way to understand yourself more and your partner more. And by doing so, you can save the relationship. You don't have to die alone. You can die with someone. <laughs> and if that topic sounded really interesting to you, then head over to All The Hacks because he has so many more episodes like that. Great personality, so you're not gonna have a bad time listening to his episodes ever. They're always so funny. I love his voice, again. So crispy. Um, yeah, check him out. Chris Hutchins, awesome, awesome, awesome podcast host. Okie dokie, last but not least, and the most brain frying of them all, Lex Freeman. If you enjoy indulging in deep thought work topics and difficult conversations, then this is the podcast for you. I do have to say some of these conversations are definitely very 
difficult to have so I always encourage anyone to go in with an open mind nevertheless Lex is a phenomenal podcast host he is very engaging always asks great questions and he's not afraid to share his opposing views which I really appreciate a recent favorite of mine was this episode with Kevin Centrum who is the co-founder of Instagram and me being a quite frequent user of Instagram due to the nature of my work and all I thought why not listen to the man himself and really get to the nitty-gritty of what Instagram is um, this was definitely a very techie talk so if you're a tech nerd check this episode out it was so cool to listen to I was surprised that nothing flew over my head um, I actually understood everything so yay to me but the confidence got shut down pretty quickly when I tuned into this episode with Eric Weinstein and um, and they were talking about physics. The Big Bang Theory did not prepare me for that conversation. <laughs> Thanks, Sheldon. You're welcome. But yeah, Lex has so many conversations like that. They just get so crazy at times and I love that about his episodes. So if you enjoy deep thought words and deep conversations, then Lex Freeman is for you for sure. All right, guys, those are the five podcast recommendations I have for you today. If you have any recommendations, please comment down below. Let me know what you listen to. I would love to listen to your favorite podcast. And everything that was mentioned in this video will be linked down below for you to check out. Again, follow my podcast playlist on Spotify and my Instagram where I share my life with you guys and also my daily podcast episode recommendations. If you have not yet, like and subscribe. Cool video coming 2022 i would love for you guys to be a part of it thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys very soon bye bye thank you baby for helping me with this commercial oh you go play now good boy no you will not get paid i'm sorry that was um volunteer work thanks charity work thank you bye